Hello Gemini, I'm going to be doing your reading today. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Um, we're going to be doing a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general, like I just said, so it will not resonate with everyone that is watching this video. Just because you're watching this video does not mean the message is for you, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus, to see if those messages will resonate more for you. All right, Spirit, let's see. I'm going to start with some romance angels today. For Gemini, please. In regards to love, what do they need to know? In regards to love, Gemini, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, subscribed, liked the videos. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate the support. All right, for Gemini, let's see what we have, guys. For Gemini. Ooh, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Well, I like starting off with that. Anything else for Gemini? Anything else for Gemini? Okay, we got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You might have manifested this. For those of you um, that I'm tuning into your energy, I feel like you've uh, manifested this new love coming into your life. And then the bottom of the deck says very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this is all about manifestation guys so some of you out there are definitely manifesting new love let's see what else we can get this is the energy oracle cards i link all of the cards that i use in the description box below let's see what else we can get for gemini any other insight regarding love spirit anything else for gemini I like using oracle cards today. Okay, we got contract and victory. So some of you, if there's, um, this could symbolize this contract and symbolize something uh, legal, something solid, um, like a binding contract of some sort, commitment of some sort. Um, there could be something coming or regarding this love, this new love that has to do with taking things to a higher level of commitment. Um, some of you are in some sort of legal case or having some sort of legal case right now in your lives and it's going to go your way let's see one more for gemini something with a contract very interesting and that card reminds me a lot of the justice card in the tarot they're holding the scales they're blindfolded Envy and woman holding a heart. Can't grab these for some reason. Envy and woman holding a heart. So someone around you is, they're jealous that you have this opportunity, this victory. Someone's not happy for you or what is coming your way. Um... I'm actually going to move these over here so I could have some more room. Yeah, someone's like, I'm just picking up this energy that someone is like pretending to be happy for you and they're not. Um, so watch out for that. I mean, there's always people around that don't have the, the best intentions or the best energies or, you know, I mean, envy is a very natural human emotion. So... It doesn't surprise me that if you get something that you've been wanting for a really long time or um, something very special coming your way, that there might be uh, some jealousy. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that you are used to it, <laughs> Gemini. Uh, I'm a Gemini sun and Venus myself. So, yeah, I know what that's all about. Okay, so then let's get right into the tarot. I'm going to be using the Light Seers Tarot today. For my Gemini's 
spirit. What's going on in love? What's going on in love for Gemini? This deck is beautiful, but it's very thick. So of course, with my small hands, I'm not able to really shuffle it very well. It's a struggle <laughs> for Gemini's for love. What's going on for Gemini spirit? One more shuffle. What's going on? Okay. Let's see. I'm so curious. So um, with women holding a heart, this is very similar to the Queen of Cups in the tarot. Um, this could be somebody offering love to you or you offering love to someone else. Um, you know, we do have new love here. We have chemistry and attraction. So someone could be um, very attracted to your energy, Gemini. If you are somebody, I'm also hearing um, some of you wear your heart on your sleeve and that is attractive to others. Um, I feel like this energy of putting yourself out there or putting, you know, not being afraid to love, not being afraid to start something new, to take a risk in love is going to be um, rewarded. And it's almost like I'm getting the sense that whatever you get because of this, there is going to cost jealousy. It's almost like this new love is too good to be true and someone just can't believe that it's yours that's the energy that i'm picking up here now with contract i i have no idea what this is about i really do i mean i really do get the sense that some of you are in a legal situation or something like that but for the rest of you that are not in some sort of legal situation i'm very curious to see if anything comes out here with regarding this contract in the tarot because I'm getting the sense that the person you're involved with or will be involved with Gemini is undergoing some sort of contract or a legal dispute or something to do with an official court of some sort. Spirit for Gemini, please. What's going on in love for my Geminis, please? Let's see what we have. I'm so curious for Gemini, please. Four of Swords reverse. So somebody's um already thought about something. Um, it has been thinking in silence, but they want to get up or they want to now act on something that they've been thinking about. For Gemini, what else? Ooh, the moon. Pisces energy here with the moon. Um, I'm also picking up here with the moon. This is not something that you you know about. Because again, I do get the sense that somebody has been keeping something to themselves. There's a secret here. Like there's a mystery unfolding here. Okay, I'm going to clarify all of these. There's the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Pisces energy with the moon here. What else can you tell me for Gemini? What else can you tell me for Gemini, please? Ooh, death reverse. Something's not over, Gemini. Something here, it's like it's not time for it to end or someone doesn't want it to end. Let me move my tripod here. Interesting. You could be dealing with Scorpio. A lot of water energy here. Now with the moon too, um, there's something that you thought you knew the whole story is what I'm picking up here. You thought you knew the whole story, but, but you didn't. This Queen of Cups is the center of everything. I've got the Ace of Swords that came out in limbo, so I'm just going to put it like sideways there. This is um, clarity, communication. Something isn't clear. The fact that this is under the moon and it's kind of sideways, something isn't clear at this time. Or again, this, this energy I'm picking up of, you don't really see something clearly because it's been hidden. What else for Gemini? And I am going to use the same deck to clarify. 
Also, we do reversals on this channel. If you don't like watching readings with the reversals, please save your comments. <laughs> There's going to be reversals here. I can't control what cards come out. That's not how tarot works. Why are you watching someone that just knows exactly what cards are going to come out? It makes no sense. But there are reversals here. Reversals, just, just because there's like, this whole reading could be reversals, it doesn't mean that it's a bad reading. I don't know why people are like thinking that way. Anyway, uh, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Something here, uh, there's no focus, no um, effort being put into something. Um, someone could have given up on working on something. We're going to clarify that and see what that's all about. I think it has to do with this Queen of Cups. What's at the bottom here? Yeah, something is not working out or hasn't worked out with the Three of Pentacles reverse. It could also be that someone is in a third party situation here. Let me put that over here, this Three of Pentacles reverse. It could be that someone's in like some sort of third party situation or um, just something's not working out. And I think the the... There's no collaboration, no teamwork, no being able to work on the same thing, no seeing eye to eye, that kind of energy. And it's because one person here gave up on putting in effort. So let's get into this. Let's start with this Three of Pentacles reverse. What's this all about for Gemini? Spirit, what's this Three of Pentacles reverse about? Whoa, that is way too many. There you are, Gemini, with the lovers. What's this Three of Pentacles reverse about? I just feel really good energy right now. It's making me excited. Okay, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands reversed. So, something here was not able to take off. I feel like this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here, I feel like is somebody that... Either you know or you don't know, but this is like the person coming your way. This, you know, for a lot of you, this is new love. And I think it's this King of Pentacles. Something's not working out for this King of Pentacles. They weren't able to manifest something. Something was not able to be manifested or finished. Two of Wands at the bottom. And I feel like this King of Pentacles, whether it's you or the person that's coming towards you, um, they have to choose a different path. Because the path they're on is, is just not leading anywhere. There's just arguments, fights with the Five of Swords here, um, disagreements, deception as well. Someone trying to take advantage of a situation. And that, this is the bottom of the, this card is the bottom of the deck, kind of like the signifier here. So the heart of the matter. I think that's this reason, or I'm sorry, I can't talk. The, this whole situation that's not working out is bringing a new path forward. And that's going to start this whole train moving. That's what I'm feeling. Tell me about this Four of Swords reverse. This could be um, no communication, someone just thinking about things in silence, um, someone healing from a situation, but it, uh, not moving towards anything until now. It's like someone's ready to get up now to wake up now. Tell me more about this Four of Swords reverse, please. For Gemini. The Sun reversed. Leo energy here with the sun reversed. What else? For this four of swords reverse. Again, I'm getting the sense of something in the dark with the sun reverse. The sun reverse can mean unhappiness, yes, but it's the opposite of light and the opposite of illumination. So shadows, darkness. Anything else? For the Four of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords. Whoever is getting up from this slumber or waking up is doing it to move like quickly. 
bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. They don't have the resources, though. They don't have... Um, they don't have the stability or the, the opportunity. Yeah. So something here has happened with the Two of Cups reverse. This is like a broken partnership, a broken uh, commitment, um, a breakup. So I feel like someone here is moving away from a breakup yeah there's been a burden that's been dropped here i don't know if this is you or the person you are gonna meet or are involved in in some way but there has been a breakup here whether in the past or it's currently going on it could even be a divorce with this contract here tell me about the moon Tell me about the moon, please. There's justice reversed. This is like something that's unfair, a disadvantage, uh, something that's unjust or there's injustice. Someone could also just not know. Um, how to approach a situation in a balanced way. Things are off balance here. Tell me more about the moon. Libra energy here. And then the wheel of fortune just popped up reverse. So something here is unfortunate or feels like it's unfair, bad luck, bad fortune. Whatever this um, situation with the moon is. Tell me more about the moon. The star reverse. Another major arcana here. Aquarius energy. Something feeling hopeless. Something feeling like it's not going to grow or manifest. We have the Empress at the bottom here. Can I get one more for the moon? Someone's trying not to give up, not to lose faith at a situation that feels like it's unfair. Tell me more about this moon. Oh, four of cups reverse. Someone's having a change of heart about an illusion, about a secret, about something that was confusing and unfair and hopeless. Someone's having a change of heart. Yeah, and maybe up, up till now, they were trying to avoid a tower moment or are trying to avoid a tower moment by changing their mind about something. It's behind this. Wow. Eight of Cups reverse. Someone could be returning or trying to leave a situation but are unable to. I keep having these readings about the past returning. Tell me about this Queen of Cups because I think she is like the center of this reading. Can you tell me about this Queen of Cups spirit for Gemini? Ten of Swords. Wow. A painful ending, a betrayal. What else can you tell me about the Queen of Swords? Not Queen of Swords. Queen of Cups. King of Swords. A king of swords made made a decision to end something here. Tell me more about this queen of cups. There has been an ending here. I have two kings on the board and a queen. Tell me more about this queen of cups. For some reason, I don't want to pick a card yet. Okay. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. And then the Eight of Cups reversed at the bottom again. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting that someone had an ending with a king, Queen of Cups and they were not able to let them go. This Nine of Pentacles is not free. This, this card is someone that is not independent, not secure. 
attached to something. There's a delay in their success, a delay in their independence. So I'm picking up that someone here is not free. Someone made a bad judgment call and now they're trying to fix it. Interesting. Someone wants to return. I think it's this King of Swords. This King of Swords, another message I'm getting here is this King of Swords is attached to something or someone. It's even though they want to end something here. They're still attached to something or someone. So it could, you know, take what resonates. I'm seeing a few things here. That nine of pentacles energy, I feel like, oops, I feel like they, they made a bad judgment call or a bad judgment call has created a dependence for someone here so like for example this is someone who maybe thought they were going to be free somewhere else or in another situation they were going to be more successful more secure and it turned out to not be the case someone here either there was already an ending between this king of swords and this queen of cups or there's an ending happening in this scenario here let's see what else can you tell me about this Queen of Cups? One more, please. Something here. I, I am getting the sense of someone doesn't want something to end or change. It's not over for them. Oops. Well, then they want both. Okay. Six of Cups, Six of Wands, Reverse. Someone here is thinking about the past. And also thinking about what hasn't worked out for them. They possibly also care too much about what other people think, their ego, you know. Um, they 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 want to be seen like a king of swords, but instead they're in nine of pentacles reverse. I hope that makes sense. But I feel like someone here is really focused on good memories with, I feel, this queen of cups. And so they want to put an end to something that is not successful again with the wanting to rebalance the situation six of pentacles at the bottom and that's the third six here okay let's see what this death reverse is about tell me about death reverse for gemini three of cups a coming together a reunion possibly Again, with the third party situation, this could be a third party situation where there's some sort of interference in this connection. King of Wands. King of Wands, um, another king here. Third king that shows up. Doesn't have to be three people, but it could be three different people. Or it could be the same person exhibiting different energies. This King of Swords is very intellectual, very knowledgeable, very logical. This King of Pentacles is very secure, very grounded. And this King of Wands is a go-getter. They're natural born leaders, confident, secure in themselves. This King of Wands wants to reconnect or reunite with someone, wants to come together with someone. Tell me more about the death card reverse. Temperance card, Sagittarius energy here. Again, someone here wants to make something come together. Oops, I just dropped my... Because they made a bad judgment call. And now they want to fix things. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. It's kind of in limbo. Five of Swords. What else can you tell me? There was a loss here. I just heard someone's ego got the best of them. Okay. There was a defeat. 
based off of miscommunication or bad communication. It made things confusing and now there's beginning to be clarity. Seven of Cups reverse. Give me one more please for this Ace of Swords. Yeah, the situation was unclear and now it's becoming clear what this really was. Page of Pentacles reverse. Very interesting reading. So how do I say this in a way that I don't confuse everybody as much? Okay, there's an offer that never came. There's an offer that was not able to be given. There was confusion here. Nothing was set in stone. Nothing was defined between you and this person. Someone has had a change of heart in this connection. Um, they've experienced a situation, whether it's you or this other person, they've experienced a situation that feels unfair, that feels hopeless, possibly a divorce or some sort of legal matter that it's caused them to have a change of heart because they can see something clearly now. And all they can think about is how badly they screwed up, how bad their judgment was. And all they're thinking about is the good times in the past here with this queen of cups. You know, they, they didn't have success where they thought they were going to have success. It didn't work for them. And now they're thinking about coming back to this queen of cups or coming together with something that, um, that, that they don't want to be over. Tell me about this eight of pentacles reverse. I hope that makes sense. Wow. Queen of swords reversed. So whoever, whoever's dealing with a situation that's not working out, they're not having a good time at this time. Queen of Swords Reverse is not someone you want to mess with. They tend to be very vindictive, uh, destructive. They also twist the truth. They could delay this offer, this Queen of Swords Reverse. I think that's this envy energy. Someone wants to delay this person from going after new love. Thank you. Okay, so we got the four of pentacles, but I think it was reversed. So I'm going to put it sideways because now I'm not sure. And there you are at the bottom of the deck here, the lovers. Someone here has been holding on to whether it's upright or reversed. I feel like someone has been holding on to something here or is wanting to let something go in order to make a different decision here. They see things differently now with the hangman behind that. They see the situation clearly now and it's so clearly that they can make a different decision. Tell me more for the eight of pentacles. Tell me more for the eight of pentacles. I think this is reverse, reverse. One more please. King of cups, definitely. And two of cups at the bottom reversed with the two of wands. Again, I'm telling you, a breakup or something or separation is, is going to cause someone to choose a different path towards emotional fulfillment. Ten of cups here. This king of cups is going to go after his queen of cups. King of swords upright, queen of swords reversed. This is a, a, a partnership that doesn't see eye to eye. So I don't think those are two, those two people are meant to be together. A lot of people here though. I have King of King of Swords, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Swords. This could also be the same people but exhibiting different energies, like I said, because I have I have all of the kings here. So um, if this is the person that you are gonna be meeting with, they're a very stable individual, very mature individual as well. This is not for those of you that have a narcissistic, violent, abusive ex. That's not this king. The, that's not a king, basically. So it's not gonna, that's not going to be the person that, you know, it, it does this. So I do get the sense that, you know, if this is the same person, this is someone very stable, very adaptable. They, they, they've gone through different things in life, but they, it hasn't, it, it's like they've learned from it. So now they can approach a situation more maturely. And I feel like this is, this is happening very quickly. This whole, this is, this is very quick energy, uh, very soon Knight of swords here. And, um, 
I feel like someone is having, uh, they want victory elsewhere. I thought this was going to be a different reading, but this is what's coming out is I feel a lot of you already know this person in some way. If you don't know this person, that's fine. Your person's going through this right now before getting with you. But this Three of Cups Temperance card with the Death Reverse tells me that a lot of you know this person. They don't want whatever was over between you to be over for good. They want to take action towards that because they, they messed up. Like this, this isn't what they thought it was going to be. And now with the moon is like, there's no longer any confusion. Um, I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got something out of this reading. If it didn't resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. And yeah, hopefully, I'll hopefully see you in another video. Take care.